Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tori. And I'm Travis. And we have it's baby winter. Baby winter, winter again. <laughs> hey guys, check out her check out her shirt. Look at her. She's looking all fresh today. Oh, look, it says magical because she's her. magical. Isn't yeah. she awesome? <laughs> we just love her so much. She's so incredible. <laughs> she's so cute. Tell everybody on tell everybody hi. Say hi everybody. Say hi YouTube. Hi. No, she's she, the she, one to tell everybody she, hi. She's being shy right now. <laughs> <laughs> we love her. She's so pretty. Aw, pretty. Anyway guys, today for a highly requested video, we're gonna be showing you guys our ceremony from our wedding last year. Now, as you guys may or may not know, we got married um, during the kind of the spike of COVID. So we originally planned for like 200 people to come to our wedding, but we ended up having 10 people and kind of doing it COVID style, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we still went to the venue um, to have the wedding, but just less people and Another downside was that at the time, well, I wouldn't say downside, that sounds bad. Another downside, well, I guess kind of a downside was that in the video, if you, if you look at my dress and you're wondering why it's not a wedding dress, is because I had a wedding dress that we, we bought prior to the wedding, uh, months before that I could fit and it was so pretty and we spent a lot of money on it, but I was pregnant on the wedding and I couldn't fit it. Yep. So I could just look at it and I was just like, okay, great. <laughs> and so, but yeah, so if you look at the ceremony and you're wondering why I'm not wearing a wedding dress, that's why. Yeah. And, and I also ordered a custom tux, but mm -hmm. I ordered it pre-COVID and it was supposed to come in. And then obviously COVID hit and factory shut down. So I didn't have a tux for the wedding. So luckily I went out and scrambled. Macy's opened up like a week before because mm -hmm. all the department stores were shut down. Mm -hmm. Finally, and I had to go get it altered real quick, find somebody to alter it. So we uh, we went through a little bit to actually go through this wedding. We went through a lot, but you know what? The most important thing was like, even though we wanted the big wedding and we wanted, you know, this and this and this, and it, we just, it was just so amazing. Everything we had planned. Mm -hmm. In the end, it was just like, it was amazing just being able to mm -hmm. still marry my best friend, yeah, which is yeah. the most important part. Yeah, because we said, you know what, we're not gonna, we're not gonna push the date back. Like, we, mm -hmm. we set this date to get married, and we're gonna get married. So, yeah. that's what happened, guys. And uh, so, here's the video. Hopefully, you know, you guys have been asking for it. So, here it is. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys are new here to the channel, don't forget mm -hmm. to like and subscribe. And if you don't really care for us. Yeah, if you don't like us. <gasps> Look at this cute little Subscribe face. Subscribe for this little cute Subscribe face. Subscribe for this little cute little girl. Mm, look at her. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, here it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let us know what y'all think. Like I said, comment down below and uh, let us know. And wait till the end because we actually have a highlight mm -hmm. video at the end. So yes, go check that out. Yeah, go check that out as well. So without further ado, let's do this. This is a video ceremony. Well, the video ceremony of me marrying my best friend. And uh, we, we actually found this, um, and we meant to post this a while back, but we kind of came across it and we're like, you know what, you guys have been asking for this so much, so you know what, enjoy it. And um, yeah, guys, uh, without further ado, here we go. Here we go. Travis and Tori, you have chosen this day to enter into the special and beautiful relationship called marriage. I remind you that you do not stand just here before family and friends. You also stand and speak your vows before God. He loves you deeply and he wants to bless you not only in this moment, but in the years to come. With these truths in mind, I ask, Travis, do you give yourself to Tori to be her husband and receive her to be your wife? Do you promise that you will live together with her in accordance with the principles God has given in his word? Do you covenant to love her, encourage her, be honest with her, be true to her and honor and protect her in all circumstances so that she will have the continual assurance that next to God she holds first place in your thoughts, heart, and affections? If so, answer, I do. I do. Tori, do you give yourself to Travis? to be his wife and receive him to be your husband? Do you promise that you will live together with him in accordance with the principles God has given us in his word? Do you covenant to love him, respect him, be honest and true to him in all circumstances so that he will have the continual assurance that next to God himself, he holds first place in your thoughts, heart, and affections? 
If so, answer, I do. I do. Who gives this woman to be joined to this man? I do. I do. They have written their own personal vows that they wanted to give as well, so we're going to allow them to do that at this point. So, Travis, here's yours. And Tori, here are yours. Okay. You go first, Travis. Tori, I'm so lucky to marry my best friend, the woman I adore, my future, my everything. God knew exactly what he was doing that cold New Year's Eve night <laughs> that he put you in my life. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> uh, little did I know how special you were about to become to me. I remember our first date, seeing you walk towards me, the most beautiful woman I had ever laid my eyes on. Your beauty had me absolutely speechless. I knew right then you were like no other woman that I had ever met and I had someone special. As we started talking, I realized how lucky I was to be spending this New Year's Eve date with you. From that moment on, we truly have been inseparable. You're my best friend, my lover, my confidant, my ride or die, the one I can always count on whenever things get tough. You, you, you have been more than a dream come true. You're everything I could ever imagine and so much more. The way your smile lights up a room always captures my heart every time I see you smile. Not only are you absolutely beautiful, you're smart, you're talented, you're God loving, you have an amazing voice, you have the purest heart, the most kind, gentle soul I've ever I've ever came across. My love for you will never die. I'm truly blessed to call you mine forever. I vow to be the man you always need me to be. To always be the ear to listen, the shoulder to cry on, the friend to laugh with, the one to pick you up when you're down, and to turn any frown you have upside down. I promise to cherish you and cherish our love and delicately hold your heart closest to mine forever. I vow to hold and cherish our love and never take it for granted. No matter what comes our way, one thing I promise to remain the same is my everlasting love for you. I will be here through all life has to throw at us, through the ups and downs, the sicknesses, the health, the storms, the rainy days, and all the happy days. My love for you will always be shining at the end of every day until the last breath and we meet again. I gotta get myself together. Okay. Okay, so I promise to fill our home with love. To let my love for you set the tone for our future. I'm excited to start a new life and become one with you. I look forward to making memories, starting a family, a lifetime of happiness, and being by your side forever. I vow to love you, to cherish you, to honor you, to be faithful to you, for you to be my forever until death do us part. I love you. <laughs> Travis, I love you. You are my best friend and my lover. And today as I stand before you, I give myself to you in marriage. The very first time I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one. Not only because you were handsome, kind, caring, and thoughtful, you were, but it was also because we shared something special. It wasn't long after that first 10 hour date that I fell in love with you. I could see it in your eyes and I could feel it in my heart. I knew we were meant to be. Travis, you're the most incredible man I've ever known. You make me feel special in every way imaginable. You're the love of my life and my rock. You're a beautiful song that keeps playing over and over in my head, a sweet melody that soothes me. You're my dream come true and I often ask myself if you're really real. But as I'm standing here today in this moment, I know you are. As we go on this wonderful journey together, may there never be a dull moment between us. Whether it's staying up all night, watching movies, playing games, or making YouTube videos, <laughs> may we laugh together like we do now. May I continue to beat you in checkers? <laughs> okay, fine. I may let you win from time to time, but I'm still the champion. She is a, she is a champion. <laughs> I know there may be hard times as well. But may the stormy days we encounter and the trials we face only make us stronger. I promise that I will love you until there is no more breath in my body. I will love you through the good, the bad, joy, and sorrow, 
and I always try to be understanding. I vow to trust you completely and to follow your direction. I promise to be forever faithful to you, heart, mind, body, and soul. May we never forget how we felt the very first time we laid eyes on each other. The first time we said I love you and how we feel standing here today. Travis, you are where my heart is. You're the reason I believe in love again. I promise to always give what I have and all that I am for all the days of my life. These are my vows to you. Beautiful. <laughs> Travis and Tori, as you have committed yourselves to each other, to the exchanging of vows and the giving of rings by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife, what God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Travis and Tori Borchardine. <laughs> it feels so good right now.